The Delta variant of the coronavirus has spawned a variant of its own that has gained considerable attention since being dubbed, Delta Plus, in India. It is slightly different from the original Delta variant that also was first identified in India. The original Delta variant is perhaps twice as transmissible as other strains of the coronavirus, meaning unvaccinated people are more likely to become infected if they are exposed to it. The United Kingdom was forced to delay a new phase of reopening its economy as the variant began to spread among unvaccinated people there, causing an uptick in cases and hospitalizations. Delta's contagiousness is obvious cause for concern. But what about Delta Plus? Statements issued by the Indian government say the characteristics of Delta Plus also include increased transmissibility. But it's unclear whether the strain is more transmissible than the regular Delta variant. Scientists in California say there isn't enough evidence to suggest that Delta Plus is any more problematic than the original Delta. It has a good name, said Dr. Benjamin Pinsky, director of the Clinical Virology Laboratory at Stanford University. But there's not much information available to suggest it's worse than anything else that's circulating, and more research is needed, he said. It sounds like just another variant that's no better, no worse, than the regular Delta variant, and it's a little unclear why everybody's pushing on it, said Dr. George Rutherford, AUC San Francisco epidemiologist. I don't see that this is a big, big problem right now. I mean, it may get worked up, it may turn out to be a bigger problem. But there's certainly nothing that I'm seeing that gives me undue concern right now. Dr. Monica Gandhi, an infectious diseases expert at UC San Francisco, noted that the lack of data on Delta Plus is due in part to limited genomic surveillance in India because of funding shortages. I don't think you can tell yet, by the data we have, if it's more transmissible, she said. While the world continues to worry about ever more contagious variants, some experts say that at a certain point, there will be a limit to how transmissible the coronavirus can become. Scientists do not expect that this coronavirus will ever be as transmissible as measles, one of the world's most contagious viruses. I know it keeps on seeming like there's more and more, and so it's certainly understandable why people are like, why doesn't it stop? Gandhi said. Once you tamp down transmission, it really will stop accumulating these mutations. That is the reason why we want to, of course, have global vaccine equity, to stop transmission. The rise of more transmissible variants is understandably concerning to scientists and public health experts. With the initial coronavirus strains, it might take 71% of the population to be immune for a region to reach, herd immunity, in which ongoing transmission of the virus is interrupted, Rutherford said.